Hey everyone, beautiful souls. It is Zach Hater here and it is day 10 of my 30 day video challenge. And in all honesty, I woke up today not feeling very good at all. Actually feeling really low and a very low vibration in myself. And I know I've got the tools, I can bring in all the love energy I need to, to be able to bring myself up out of it, but I just haven't felt like it. I've just wanted to sit with it and see what the what the issue is and really the issue is it's just my own body image and how I see myself like I've been overweight for over half of my life and I'm just not I just don't feel happy in my own skin I actually wrote a post this morning as well about my experience with this and how I've got some money coming through in Originally, it was supposed to arrive in September, but it could be any time now. It could take a few more months yet. But this money, when it comes through, I'm going to reinvest it, and it's going to be paying me quite a decent amount every month when this happens. And for so long, I've been sacrificing my, my health and putting that on a back burner along with smoking weed as well, which has just like really not helped my appetite and my relationship with food over the years. But I was doing all of that and putting my health aside to focus on wealth. My idea always was, oh, when I've got the wealth sorted out in that way, I could, it would allow me this time freedom to do everything that I wanted to do. I know it's a very, it's a different alternative way to, of going about such a thing compared to, for example, the law of attraction and using that. But for me, it's just how I've wanted to do it. And so I've been going about for years now, kind of putting off that juice, juice fast, putting off that special eating regime and diet just so that I could build wealth. And a part of that is, yeah, I've wanted my own kitchen. I've wanted my own space. I've wanted to feel like I had the financial resources and the time to be able to just enjoy my life and also lose weight at the same time. I didn't want it to be stressful. And so I'm creating that and I'm really grateful. I'm really, really grateful that I'm actually doing it this way and it's working in this way. It's good. I just... It's just been getting me down. It's been the past, well, recently. And like going to the beach yesterday and just walking along with my t-shirt off, it's like, I don't want to feel this way. And it's also, in terms of being in a relationship as well. Like, I want to feel good in my own skin. I want to feel like sexy towards my partner. I want to feel sexy towards myself. I want to feel awesome. And I do feel good in myself. It's just, I know I can feel a lot better. And a part of that as well is like, because I've been overweight for essentially for as long as I can remember, I've never known any better. I've never known any different kind of feeling state. I don't really know what it feels like to be like completely ripped and shredded, like physically, have a low body fat path, to just have low body fat. And just to feel that. I can tap into the vibration and I can feel what the vibration is, but I just want to experience it. I don't want to be imagining and sensing what the vibration is like. I want to be living the vibration, <laughs> which I know is what you need to do in order to live the vibration, to actually achieve the vibration, you need to live it already. And I know all of that, it's just I need to, I just need to make it happen, and I am. I have a plan, as I said, about this, this money coming through, it will give me financial resources to, to do, to set up everything. 
the way I want it to be set up so that I can do what I feel I need to do to achieve what I feel I want to achieve so I can feel how I want to feel in my own skin. So yeah, that got me down today. But on the plus, uh, I've just been here in, in my hotel room just doing my thing and I actually have been working a little bit on my emotional alchemy and love energy cultivation course a little bit more this morning. And that's been going really well as well. I'm really glad with this last little segment I've put into it. I'm going to be proofreading it again today and just going over it and seeing if there's anything I can improve, anything I can change or tweak. And I'm really, really excited now actually. It's like this last part was integral to include and now I've included it. So I'm going to be going over, refining it further today. And then getting ready to... I'm probably going to do an audio voiceover. So I may not actually record myself in the, uh, in the actual presentation because I'm going to do it as like... You know on YouTube, you have like certain YouTube channels that they'll have like a, a video format where it'll be like a... I'll, I'll find an example now and I'll overlay it onto this video here. Just kind of like a doodle, like a sketched illustration of what the voiceover is talking about. And just going over it like that and just illustrating visually what the points are. Uh, that are being spoken about in the voiceover. So I'm, set, so I'm essentially going to be making an audiobook of the script, of the written copy that I've got of this course. And then from the audiobook, from the, from the voiceover, I'm going to turn that into a video presentation. And then, so I'll have three formats. I'll have video, I'll have audio, and I'll have text. And that's really all I'm going to need. And I'm going to put this on my website and then it will be included in every YouTube description I put out. I'll be sharing it on my social media and yeah, it'll be good. It'll be like a long time coming. <laughs> so it's now or never. So going to make it happen. Let's do this. Mm. Anyway, I'm going to go out now and get some food. <laughs> I had a salad yesterday, but then... Yeah, and salad, and it was just, I don't know if it was just like the, the enzymes in, in, the, in the salad, or it was my own gut bacteria, um, and my own like, flora, um, and how all of that's currently calibrated, it just didn't feel too good, and I ended up going and filling up on some extra calories after that. But, I'm good, I'm feeling good, I'm okay, I'm just doing my best with what I got right now and yeah continually progress what more can I do apart from just wait and I know I'm saying like oh when this money comes through I'll be able to reinvest it and then I'll be earning x amount every month and this will enable me to do xyz I know it doesn't have to be that way but it's like I said I've just I don't think I can really settle in myself until I know that I feel a certain amount of, I was going to say success, but like for me it's just financial security. I just feel like I want to be financial fi more financially secure than I am now and I'm already quite financially secure. Ding. I guess I've got big visions. I've got grand visions for what I want to achieve and how I want to help humanity. And a part of that is going to involve having money to be able to do that. And there's that whole thing about this, people in the spiritual community in general, it's like this age old thing. It's like a, almost like a trend. Like to be spiritual, you have to be impoverished. I totally don't agree with that. I actually feel that as a spiritual person, you can actually help people more if you have more money to be able to do things, to be able to, to make things happen, to start businesses that are gonna help people, to, to even be able to help people for free. That's a big part of my own intention. I wanna help people for free. 
and I can't do that if I need to rely on them for a source of income. I can see how this is all perfect and how it's all fitting together really nicely. I've just got to keep keep going forwards and keep enjoying every moment for what it is. Truly, keep enjoying every moment for what it is and more of these enjoyable moments will continue to unfold. Mm -mm. Much love. Maybe speak to you in a bit.